Hi there. Welcome to Camden Community Garden and welcome to my latest episode of Let's Go Grow. So we're in late spring now and the weather has definitely warmed up and it's a really good time if you haven't already to start thinking about growing corn. So I always like to grow my corn from seed uh, and there's a few tips and tricks that I've got to show you today that'll get you growing beautiful sweet juicy corn in no time. So the variety I'm growing today is actually called glass gem corn um, and it's a really good variety for popping so uh, as always with, with corn, you don't want to grow different varieties next to each other because they will cross pollinate. Uh, but I'll tell you more about that and other tips and tricks later on. So come join me in the garden. Let's go grow. So here we are in a bed that I prepared earlier. Now I cleared this bed around three weeks ago and as soon as I cleared it, um, I, I dug in some uh, well-aged cow manure and some compost and I've just left it since then uh, and I've just watered it a few times. I've dug it over to remove any large clumps of soil uh, and to aerate that soil so it's really nice and free draining. Uh, and now we're ready to plant. Now a really handy tip for those of you that are growing corn for the first time is always grow your corn in a block. Um, I see a lot of people online growing their corn, especially beginners growing their corn in a straight line. And the reason that you don't want to do this is corn is actually wind pollinated. So you put your flowers at the top of the plant and you put your silks um, about halfway up. The silks are actually pollinated from the flowers at the top. They drop their pollen and uh, they pollinate each strand leads to an individual kernel. And what actually happens is if you grow in a straight line and the wind is blowing in one direction, uh, you'll find that you have really poor pollination because all the pollen's blowing away and it's not actually dropping down from either direction and pollinating your crops. So the theory behind growing in a block is that no matter which way the wind blows, it'll always be blowing one row onto the next and you'll get a really good uh, pollination and you won't have to worry about hand pollinating that way. Um, some people like to hand pollinate, I don't, I don't have the time, I think it's a waste of time when it's just so easy to grow in a block. Um, I always try to do 5 by 5 um, as a minimum and that really works for me so yeah, always grow in a block. So when it comes to spacing, you want to space your rows at at least 30 centimetres. So what I do to space my rows is after I've watered and uh, dug the soil over, I just grab a small stake, press it down, and that'll give me a straight line about 20 mils deep. And I just repeat that process uh, across my planting area. Now, like I said before, I've got these, uh, these are glass gem corn. And I got these through uh, Happy Valley Seeds. They're a really good online um, seed provider, um, selling a really great range of uh, unusual and heirloom variety um, vegetables. Um, so yeah, this is glass gem corn. I haven't grown it before, uh, but I got the seeds from Happy Valley. So sowing is just a matter of pressing the uh, seeds nice and softly into the ground. So you can see here, that's 30 centimeters and I've got a gap of about 15 centimetres. I always over sow because I can always come through later on and thin them out. Uh, and the ones that you actually pull if you need to thin them out, um, you can transplant them elsewhere. So yeah, that's how I always uh, sow my corn. So as you can see, I've sowed my corn now, and all it's left to do is just give these seeds a light rake over just to cover them up. So these seeds will be about 20 millimeters deep. And then just uh, cut them down. The ground's nice and firm. And they'll all start emerging in about 10 to uh, 14 days. All it's left to do now is give them really good water. So thanks for joining me down here at Camden Community Garden today. Like I said, just a quick video 
on how easy it is to grow corn from seed. A few tips to remember, always plant in a block to improve that um, uh, pollination rate so you don't have issues with pollination. Uh, and if you are growing different varieties like I am, plant them in different areas. So don't plant them next to one another. Because what will actually happen is they'll cross pollinate uh, and your sweet corn won't be sweet and your popping corn won't pop. Um, dig in plenty of uh, well-aged cow manure. Corn is basically a grass and it loves nitrogen. So dig that nitrogen in. Um, I will update this uh, crop throughout the growing season. So uh, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Um, and in the meantime, let's go grow.